Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you receive funds from customers within the Receive Payments window and place the funds into your undeposited funds asset account, QuickBooks tracks that money until it has actually been deposited into the bank account. Later on, when you are ready to take your payments to the bank, you can record the deposit within QuickBooks and group the various payments that you've received and placed into the undeposited funds account into a single amount that is shown as being deposited into your selected bank account. This makes the amounts recorded as deposits for the bank account match the amounts recorded by your bank statements, which makes account reconciliation much easier. Also, when you are preparing the funds for deposit in QuickBooks, you can print a deposit slip to bring with you to the bank if needed, and then make the deposit at the bank. Note that when you record the deposit within QuickBooks, it takes the deposited funds and adds it to your selected bank account register. At that time, you can also tell it to leave out a certain amount for cash back if needed, which you could record to an account like Petty Cash. To make a deposit in QuickBooks, select Banking from the menu bar and choose the Make Deposits command. This will most often then cause the Payments to Deposit window to appear on screen. In the Payments to Deposit window, you can see all of the customer payments that you have received through the Receive Payments window and elected to move to the Undeposited Funds account. You can use the View Payment Method Type drop-down at the top of the window to select the type of payments to view if needed. You must then check any received amounts that you will actually be taking to the bank to deposit. Now once you've made your selections, click the OK button to continue to the actual Make Deposits window. In this window, you will see the amounts that you have just selected shown in a listing. You can use the Deposit To drop-down to select the name of the bank account into which you would like to deposit the selected funds. Then enter the date of the actual deposit into the Date field. If necessary, you can click into the next available blank row within the Deposit window to record any other miscellaneous amounts that will be deposited, such as owner's contributions. If you need to get cash back from the deposit, then use the Cash Goes Back To drop-down to select the account used to record cash back, such as Petty Cash. Then enter the reason why the cash was held back into the Cash Back Memo field. You can then enter the amount of cash to be held back from the deposit by typing the amount into the Cash Back Amount field. If you want to print a deposit slip or deposit summary to take with you to the bank, then click the drop-down arrow to the right of the print button within the toolbar at the top of this window and select either the deposit slip or deposit summary command. You can then print the selected form within the print dialog box that appears. Once you're ready to record the deposit amount, click the save and close button to save and close the make deposits window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.